Hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, I want to do part three of our tiny shed homestead, 12 by 32 foot cabin Mennonite build. Um, one thing that we learned last winter is there's these little cracks. They're not really even cracks, they're just holes where the paneling goes up. And every one of these holes is a draft. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the spray foam. Well, uh, something like this. I'm not saying this is little stuff to use because it's just stuff. So it even says great stuff. <laughs> um, but you're going to want to fill these up with your, your gap filler and get some insulation up in here. You'll be thanking me next or in the winter time when you do that. That's the first thing we should have done, but we did not do it. There's also some on the sides right here. Um, all the way around the front, I don't want to do it because of the sun, all the way down the front and all the way around the back side. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm installing a rainwater catchment system. I kind of talked about it before, so I'm doing this right now. I'm going to prep the area and I'm going to do a step by step tutorial on how to do a, a proper rain flush or a rain um, water catchment system. Water catchment system. <laughs> Something with a flush system on it, too, so you don't have the nasties. And I'll explain more of that later. But anyway, um, thanks for watching guys. This is part three. I'm gonna do a whole series on these houses on changing them into a shed Into a house because when they come to you they build them as a shed and they're built like a shed So you have to change them into a house if you want to live in them And if inexpensive you can do it a couple hundred bucks down a couple hundred bucks a month for a few years and it's yours you Get a shell right away like I said explain it in the first part or in the second part but um yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to. Uh, sure, certainly appreciate it. Go ahead and like it, too, if you can. Um, that way other people can see it as well. So, have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.